meron na naman tayong isang budget phone na pag-uusapan. And yes, sa mga gamers natin or into gaming or malapit ng maging into gaming, <laughs> magugustuhan nyo itong video natin ngayon because this phone is more focused on that. And correct me if I'm wrong then guys, no? ito yung kauna-unahan nilang Y-series smartphone na i-re-release para sa taong 2022. Hey guys, it's your Tech Girl Mary and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be talking about the new Vivo Y21 Yes, alam ko guys, ano, yung itsura ng ating Vivo Y21T is very familiar sa mga phones na dating nakita natin from the V-series. Ako kasi no guys, ang nasa isip ko pag Y-series talaga, pa-vertical lang ating camera setup. At pangalawa, medyo pale-ish yung mga kulay natin sa kanya. Ito, medyo pale nga na pagka-blue yung meron tayo. But iba na ang itsura ng camera setup natin. Mamaya pag-usapan natin yung kanyang design. Pero tingnan muna natin guys kung ano yung mga makukuha nyo sa loob ng box if ever nabibili kayo ng Vivo Y21T. As you can see din pala, ang unit na meron tayo here in the Philippines ay yung 4GB RAM na merong 128GB na internal storage. Yup, hindi po 6GB RAM, okay? Kasi sa ibang bansa, 6GB RAM yung version na meron. Anyway, inside the box guys, meron kayong makukuha of course na libreng jelly case at nandito rin yung ating mga paperworks. Bukod pa dito, meron din tayong 18W fast charging power brick. Meron din tayong, of course, USB Type-C charging cable. At huling-huli, <laughs> makalimutan pa naman natin yung ating panundot. So, setting the unboxing aside, bakit nga ba natin or ni Vivo na sabi na isang gaming-centric or gaming-focused ang Vivo Y21T? Okay, I'll be honest with you guys. Meron akong criteria, syempre, na consider bago natin matawag or masabing gaming-focused ang isang phone. Syempre, unang-una, ang chipset niyan dapat competitive enough at sulit sa presyo na binabayaran natin. Siyempre, hindi lang dapat sobrang panalo when it comes sa paglalaro natin sa kanya, but also eye-pleasing. And that is to have a good display for its price. Panghuling-huli ay, siyempre, yung ating thermal management. So, let's get the cat out of the bag. Alam nyo ba ibig sabihin nun? <laughs> hindi ko din alam. <laughs> Itong bagong budget phone ng Vivo Y21T has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 680. Bukod pa dito, meron din siyang 6 nanometer octa-core processor. And uulitin ko katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, meron tayong 4 gig of RAM. In fairness naman, on paper, no, kung makikita nyo or maririnig nyo, it really is an impressive kind of, you know, gaming chipset that is available sa ating mga budget phones. Pero ang tanong, how well does it translate or paano ang kanyang performance sa totoong buhay? In real life usage, para sa akin, capable naman sa pagraran ng day-to-day -day applications yung ating Vivo Y11T. So yes, I would say the chipset is quite reasonable naman for its price. And kung makikita nyo rin naman, ang ating ang score guys is actually quite competitive sa iba pang budget devices na lumabas. And para sa akin guys, it's also equally capable kung paano yung naging resulta ng kanyang antutu na kapag run tayo ng kahit papanong demanding game sa kanya katulad ng Pokemon Unite, Roblox, and Asphalt 9. Yun nga lang, I noticed guys na yung ibang games natin hindi siya nag-run smoothly and I think this is because we don't have a high refresh rate on the device and malaking tulong din kasi guys yung pagkakaroon ng mataas na refresh rate at lalong-lalo na ng touch sampling rate when it comes to gaming. Overall performance, I would say minimal lang naman yung lag and stutters natin sa kanya parehas na normal and heavy usage. Nakatulong rin naman talaga dito guys yung ating pagkakaroon ng ultra game mode option dito sa Vivo Y21T. Actually, not just this phone but Almost all the Vivo smartphones has this kind of feature. In fairness naman, nalesen yung freezing sa aking experience sa ibang games na nilaro ko. And of course, nahandle nyo na yung mga heavy task. And kahit pa paano guys, seamless and immersive ang ating overall gaming experience. Probably because nakatulong nga talaga yung ating multi-turbo 
criteria guys sa sinabi ko na dapat natin i-consider when it comes to, you know, buying gaming or gaming-centric smartphones ay syempre dapat maganda ang graphics niyan at dapat ay pleasing siya sa mata. Etong Vivo Y21 Ti ay merong 6.51 inch na LCD display at uh, meron din siyang HD plus resolution and as what I said earlier, 60Hz refresh rate. So part na to, considering syempre yung ating price ng Vivo Y21T, medyo nabababaan ako sa resolution niya. Kitang-kita ko siya actually while I was gaming with the phone but it did give me an ample amount of colors naman guys when it comes to YouTube videos or social media usage. We did not get the best of both worlds guys no? Wala tayong high refresh rate or even a full HD Plus, medyo nalungkot lang din ako guys na even up until now 2022 ang kapal ng bezels natin sa phone na to. Anyway, pangatlong na mention ko kanina na gusto kong i-consider of course para makonsider natin na isang magandang gaming device ang isang smartphone ay yung thermal management. Dito guys, kahit papano nakabawi ulit si Vivo Y21T. Playing straight games guys for a really long time. In fairness, hindi ako na buzzer sa Um, thermal or yung heat niya, it's something na tolerable naman and hindi bothersome to the point na uncomfortable na siyang hawakan or ituloy pa for a longer period of time. Anyway, now that we are done with that, gusto ko lang sabihin, no, when it comes to design. In fairness naman guys, no, kahit ng Y series, talagang bumabawi si Vivo. Meron siyang comfortable size guys and it fits well naman sa kamay ko even though na matte finish yung mga usong smartphones or design na nakikita natin as of the moment. Again, hindi nga siya matte. It's more on the glossy side pero it's the type of gloss na kapag tayo ay pasmado, hindi masyadong obvious yung ating mga fingerprints sa kanya. And even though it's a glossy back, it's not as slippery as you'd expect. Probably guys, dahil hindi masyadong curved yung ating likod. So yes, despite its price, in fairness, when it comes to design, it feels kind of on the premium side of budget phones. Pero bago ko makalimutan pala, the color is what you call pearl white. Kung alam nyo yung itsura ng mga pearl necklaces, parang ganun yung Um, sheen na binibigay niya and yes, it's not that you know, pure white na makikita nyo dito sa mga box. The bluish hue or bluish side lalong lalo na if ititilt natin yung device. Going to the side kung mapapansin nyo guys, no, medyo may pagka-flat din siya. And dito nakalocate yung ating volume rockers and the power button that is also a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Sa ibabaw dito nakalagay yung ating SIM tray. And the below, we have yung ating headphone jack, a microphone USB type C port at ang ating speaker grill. I have no issues at all sa ating side-mounted fingerprint sensor. In fair Ha? responsive siya at consistent naman for its price and yung placement it's not on the awkward side. What I didn't like lang siguro or what I was looking for is of course another speaker on top. Medyo nakukulangan lang ako sa sound na nilalabas or audio, I mean, na nilalabas ng Vivo Y21T considering na of course it's on the gaming side nga. Anyway, one thing I really like about the Vivo Y21T is yung kanyang camera performance. This phone has a triple 50 megapixels main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel portrait lens. And lastly, para sa ating selfie camera, meron din tayong 8 megapixels. Yung camera output natin sa kanya is in fairness naman guys, they were excellent especially during the day. But although merong dedicated night mode ang ating Vivo Y21T, medyo may pagka-grainy lang yung iba nating photos sa kanya. Overall guys, daylight images natin from the wide camera are all in a very good quality. Although may mga times lang especially yung ating mga selfie photos, it's a bit lacking when it comes to colors. Parang medyo faded yung ating mga selfies sa kanya. It's an okay camera setup considering na may 50 megapixels nga siya. Yun nga lang guys na sacrifice yung ultra wide camera natin. So yes, MIA or missing in action yung ultra wide. So dito medyo na disappoint ako kasi syempre considering again the price. Sana hindi nila inales yung ating ultra wide camera. I'm pretty sure medyo marami ring maghahanap nito as an option when it comes to taking photos. By the way, 
gusto ko lang naman ding i-mention, yung ating mismong camera user interface is not very similar doon sa pinakita ko sa inyo sa previous Vivo review na ginawa natin, which is the Vivo V23 5G. Probably because of their OS differences. Itong meron sa Vivo Y21T na Alam nyo yun, pinaka-interface. Ito pa rin yung nakikita natin sa iba pang Vivo Y series phones. It's not like a big deal, pero syempre, medyo may learning curve ng konti. Anyway, going to the battery side of the Vivo Y21T, it has a 5,000 mAh of battery with 18 watt of USB Type-C charging. In fairness naman dito sa Vivo Y21T, it gave me around 6 hours of Heavy gaming guys. So if in regular use, it will definitely last you for more than a day. Yun nga lang when it comes to charging, it can be a bit of a pain guys. Hindi po fast charging. Yung ating Vivo Y21T, it's just 18 watts. But you know, kind of what you'd expect from the Y series. But then again, considering the price, medyo uso ngayon kasi guys sa mga budget to mid-range devices ang pagkakaroon ng fast charging capability. It took me almost 3 hours bago natin ma-full charge from 0 to 100% itong ating Vivo Y21T. But hey, if you are the type of person naman na nag-charge ng phone every end of the day bago matulog at syempre gagamitin na ang phone pagkagising, this won't really bother you at all kasi nga syempre tulog naman kayo. <laughs> Unless, of course, sobrang heavy user nyo at mailolobat nyo yung Vivo Y21T in the middle of the day, which is actually, I doubt. Dahil, yes guys, I will vouch makurat ang battery life ng Vivo Y21T. This phone, a Vivo Y21T, will be officially available by February uh, 26. So, I'm not sure guys kung 26 nyo ito mapapanood or later than that date. And with a price of 10,999 pesos. I know guys, why iba dito na gulat. Anyway, yung ating Vivo Y21T, sa pagkakaalam ko, merong 3 pesos of voucher din naman. And of course, a freebies katulad ng TWS and a dito SIM card. So, I will be putting na lang a link on where you guys can find itong ating budget of phone from Vivo. If I were to answer guys kung sulit, sulit, alam kong yun ang hinahanap yung word or value for money itong ating bagong device from the Y series ng Vivo, I'll be very honest with you guys. When it comes to gaming, I would say yes, hindi po underpower yung Vivo Y21T. Yung chipset niya is actually okay for its price. But then, syempre, may mga tao pa rin naghahanap ng iba pang aspects or aspeto in Tagalog for them to buy a gaming budget phone. And katulad nga ng mga sinabi ko kanina, katulad ng pagkakaroon ng magandang display and of course, a good thermal management. And when it comes to that latter yung, or yung pangatlo natin, okay din naman ang Vivo Y21T. Siguro what I didn't like lang about this phone is the fact na yung kanyang display is a bit lacking when it comes to colors and of course, clarity. Uulitin ko no, it only has 720 pixels resolution. Setting this aside, impressive naman ang ating mga photos produced by the Vivo Y21T. So yes, nakasabay si Vivo dito when it comes to, you know, budget phones na merong 50 megapixels as its main camera. Kayo ba guys, ano sa tingin nyo Ang masasabi nyo dito sa Vivo Y21T. Let me know in the comment section below. Again, it's your Tagal Mary and see you on our next video. Bye guys!